for a while. We've been keeping a tab on the lifestyle of veteran actor and filmmaker Kunle Afolayo. Our observations have opened our eyes to some things about the filmmaker. Oh yeah, Anile. Anile, don't come back here again, no. That boy is not our son. After being able to trace some patterns about Afolayo, we arrive at the conclusion that Kunle Afolayo is a man that appreciates the old. Three things about the filmmaker tell us that he never forgets old things and old people. Those who know Kunle Afolayo knows that he likes cars that were in vogue in the distant past. Kunle Afolayo has two of these vintage cars lying in his car park. The first one is an old green Mercedes-Benz. The second one is a 1965 Ford Thunderbird. <laughs> The second thing that shows that Kunle Afolayo appreciates the old is the recent fashion line he launched. The award-winning filmmaker ventured into fashion, and the only thing he thought of producing is the Kembe trouser. The Kembe style of trouser is an old-fashioned way of sewing trousers. The Kembe trouser was worn in the past, mostly among the Yorubas and the Hausas. Kunle must like the old so well that he had to bring back the Kembe trouser back to limelight. His Instagram page is filled with several Nigerian celebrities modeling the trouser. The third thing that makes us know that Kunle Afolayo indeed appreciates the old is his love and concern for old actors. We went through most of his movies and we found out that he always bring back actors that were popular in the past to feature in his films. The reason why he does this, we do not know. Some of these old actors are Kunle's father's colleagues and friends. We think he does this as a way to honor his father. From the producers of Iran Bada. Golden Effects in association with Jungle Theme Works. Featuring multi-award winning cast. In an event that held the last two years, we saw Kunle trying to foster peace among some old Yoruba actors who were at loggerheads. In his words, he said he wants their rift to end because his father wouldn't be happy about such things if he were alive. A man with such concern would also want to do things within his power to cater for old actors who seem to have been forgotten. And these people are still here, at job. I'm not a uh, to talk about the fractions in, in the industry. But I want to use this medium, even as Omode, but I want to use this as a representative of Adeyemi Apollayon to say that I report in John Wayton, yeah, we told you where you are. So, Rami. We are going to start a project and I'll start contacting everybody. Because, look, the industry is segregated, okay, and 
I want you back. I want Nollywood. I want Nikon. Now, you know you back. I want you to I want you to I think we should stop it. I think we should come together. In some of the movies he produced last year, Omotola Jalade made a comeback to the industry after four years in one. And in another, we were able to see Zak Oji again in a movie. In fact, according to the very popular Zak Oji, that movie was his first cinema movie in Nigeria. All thanks to Kunle Afolayan who appreciates the old.